Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone. Hey, it's Miss Nina. And uh, yeah, I'm at home right now. And uh, basically, I'm going to share with you a couple of tips about how we can inshallah have a very special Ramadan at home. And I'm sure a lot of you have been watching a lot of um, YouTube videos from scholars and influencers talking about how, you know, subhanAllah, this is basically something that none of us have ever experienced in our lifetimes. And possibly this is the one Ramadan that will be very different from the rest of the Ramadans because we are at home. And, uh, and I feel like, you know, subhanAllah, we need to take advantage of this look at the blessings, look at the positive side, and see how we can really, really make use of this time at home. So a uh, couple of tips for me. Number one is to reset your intention about why we are fasting. So uh, look into your heart and uh, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant you sincerity, to fast for His sake, to fast for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And inshallah in the month of Ramadan so that we can gain his pleasure, so that we can also inshallah gain his forgiveness as well. Number two is to connect with the Quran like you've never connected before the last year or the last few years. Because you know, think about it. Every time we're in Ramadan, we're always like, okay, so I'm too busy. I've got work. I got to go here. I'm stuck in a jam. I have a meeting here, I'm going to go pay taraweh at this masjid, that masjid, and so busy, right? We don't have time for the Qur'an. So now, let's take this opportunity to really, really connect, you know? Not just read it, but to understand what we're reading, and at the same time, inshallah, act upon what we learn. So, you know, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah for technology, we're able to actually watch a lot of um, tafsir classes, classes about Qur'an that we can actually learn to know what it means. So there's no excuse. It's not like, oh, you know, I don't know where to find it. It's everything. Everything's on YouTube. Everything's on the phone. Everything is on, you know, social media. You can find it if you want to find it, okay? So yeah, number one was intention. Number two is um, connect with the Qur'an, recite, understand, and implement, okay? And number three, uh, make sure you come up with your ibadah list, yeah? Have a preparation for that. Don't just like go with the flow. No, have a couple of goals. It doesn't matter. It can just be one goal, two goals, three goals, 10 goals, 20 goals. Make a list and try your best to stick to it. So for example, for me this year, I want to read more Quran as compared to last year. And also at the same time, yes, uh, understand and implement. And at the same time, inshallah, I want to, for this year, be my own imam. I mean, of course, Noah is going to imam for me as well. But there will be some nights where, you know, perhaps I will be, you know, praying my own qiyam. And I would like to really do that, um, uh, you know, with kushu, you know, um, with perhaps, inshallah, maybe a couple of new surahs or new ayats that I have memorized and actually say it in my, in my salah. Um, so that's another one of my goals, you know, and, um, you know, have other goals like perhaps you want to eat clean this year, you know, no, no fast food, right? Uh, go for sunnah foods, for example. Um, so yeah, have that ibadah list so you can always look back to that. And then another tip that I can give you right now is something that I'm working on myself as well is to have a dua list. You know, think of all the things that you would love to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because He loves it when we ask Him. He loves it when we ask Him. So ask away because Allah is the Malik. He is able to do anything and anything. It's all easy for Him. We just need to ask Him sincerely, okay? So yeah, I pray that uh, inshallah this um, Ramadan will be one that is very, very special, especially for you and your family. Make this Ramadan one that is all about Allah, all about Qur'an, and all about your family. And uh, alhamdulillah, we're, we are actually forced to do this because we can't say, oh, this Ramadan was all about going to the masjid and connecting with this and that. No, it's about the family. It's about you and Allah. You know, it's about taqwa, right? Because we can't really show people what we're doing in our ibadah, right? So alhamdulillah, it really gives us a chance to become more sincere believers, more sincere Muslims. And um, yeah, just inshallah, may Allah 
accept it from us make it, may may he help us make it easy for us and uh you know let's just enjoy every single moment of it okay so yeah that's pretty much it for me assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh